Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Your Own Website. Um, if you haven't seen the first two parts, go check them out in the description, or there's an annotation right around here. In this section of the tutorial, you'll be learning how to basically import your website into Dreamweaver, or Adobe Dreamweaver, and edit it a little bit and get it ready for publishing. So, first of all, we want to open up Adobe Dreamweaver and go to File, Open, and find your website. Okay, you can also go to the uh, files panel over here and locate it just like that, like you normally would. Now we have our website open like this. There's a few things that we, I want to actually modify before we even edit. Uh, that's first of all centering the website. So we're going to go into our code and find the head tag. And right above it, we're going to put a center tag. Ooh, crap. There we go. And then we're going to go to the bottom and find that right below the body. If you haven't learned basic HTML yet, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube. Just, just look them up. Okay, so now our, our document's centered, and now we can actually edit. So the first thing that we're gonna do is um, add our content, so we can actually like write, you know, write over our images. And I've made a tutorial on this before to basically write over your image, like put text over your images. It's very easy. I'm just gonna go through it real quick. Um, so the width is a thousand, and the height is six hundred and ten. I'm gonna right click on this. Hit cut, right click, and then hit edit tag TD, and put in your dimensions, and go to browser specific, and browse for your image. I usually right click and hit view to thumbnails so I can see it better. It's the biggest one, so put that in. I can also do the same thing for this one too. This is kind of my header. Okay, browse specific, view to thumbnails, and that's this one. Okay. Uh, now we can actually edit inside this. Pretty cool, and I'll actually call this just call this home, and I'll center that. So go right click, align, center. And you can make that bigger if you want to, but I'd be careful because you, if you go, if you make it too big, you'll actually start repeating this uh, the image. You don't want that. Um, and if we go into our main content area, as you see, if we hit enter, we go all the way down, our page will expand and not deform the page at all. So that's really cool. Anyway, what we want to do is go to the vertical right here, hit top. There you go. <laughs> and as you see, we can put in content. Pretty cool, right? And you can put in all sorts of stuff. Now, as you see, it's kind of on the side too much. I kind of want to have it not completely, like, dead on the on the left. So I can fix that by inserting a table. So Control-Alt-T or insert, insert Tables, I think it is. And I'm going to insert one row and two columns. And drag that out. Gosh. There you go. I'll make it just like that. And if you click, I'm pretty sure you can actually we'll backspace up. So it resize the image or resize the document. And I'm gonna bring this side over just like that. And I'll also base I'll put one more column in just for the other side. Okay. And now we can put on our Im or our text. Uh, make sure you go back to vertical top, paste that in. Um, for the font, you can either go to CSS and change it, but if you change the font in CSS, you won't be able to, it'll basically change it for the whole page, so you don't want that. If you just want to change one, like, one set of text to a different font, you can hi highlight it, go into it, and add a font code, which, I'm pretty sure if you just hit enter, right around the, right under the uh, TD and P, you can put a font face code, which changes the font. Changes the font. You can also edit the font list. If you go to edit font list, oh crap, my bad. If you go to edit font list, you can put in new fonts. Let's say I wanted, uh, I don't know, Adobe Arabic. Put that in. I can now choose it at the bottom. Pretty cool. I'm just gonna go with uh, Arial Helvetica and put another end of the bracket. 
or and the tag and then I'll go to the bottom right over here and right here I think I'm going to put in the end font tag okay no that's not it I'm gonna put it um, right here you wanna put the end font tag right up below the uh, end p tag and that didn't work did it okay well let's see I have to put it right here then. Um, there we go. So now this part is Arial. And you're just going to have to do that for all the ones. If you have paragraphs. If you don't have paragraphs, all you have to do is just put one font tag in. But I really don't need to do that, but I'll do it for you guys. So put that in. And then at the end, I'll put. That's not right. There we go. And I'll do it one more time just for fun. And then there we go. Okay, that didn't work, did it? That just changed that one. Okay. Um What did I just do? Let's just delete that. That doesn't work. There we go. Okay, that's really weird. Oh, because I didn't put it in. Sorry about that. Didn't put it in. There you go. And the rest I'm just going to leave. So, there's our home page. And now we're going to actually add the other pages. So, the videos page, the forum, and the blog, and the about page. For the forum and the blog page, I already have um, links for them. And that is... You can just put them down in here in the link bar. Now, I'm manually putting them in, but you can also copy them, copy and paste, at least in Adobe CS5. And the blog. Okay. And so now all I have to do is make a tab for videos and about. I'm also going to add the links to these pages, to my uh, main links. And my LinkedIn, which I don't know off the top of my hand. I'm going to actually go to it. And copy the LinkedIn and copy the Twitter there we go and for this I'll just put my home home page oh crap make sure you put the HTTP or it won't work Okay, um, and now we're actually on the home page, so we'll create a new page. Uh, the reason why I made or put all the links now was because when we make a new page, we basically it'll basically replica the page that we already are working on, and anything that's on that the page like now will be on the new page. So you want to make sure that you have everything saved and and good to go when you replica it in. So. It, it just saves you so much time and it's time consuming to go back and put links in for every button if you don't do it beforehand so just make sure you do that and once you're done we're going to go to file save as and we'll call this one videos html and now we just created a videos page you can maybe edit this up and the reason why i mean it's really good to make this like um 
like uh what's it called or uh, it's really good to make this like the white because you can really or one color because cause you can really just like quickly edit it and make it make it good and if it wasn't white what you could do is just uh make a text layer on a png in photoshop and import it in to just change it or if you didn't so do so before or you can just make a whole new page it doesn't matter and from here what we want to do is I'm going to just get rid of this text actually I'll keep some of it for my description uh, now I'll delete all of it and I'll call this rename this to videos and I want this to be um, different font Actually, no, I'll have it Wicked Grit. I like that font. And the font tag. There we go. And if we made it a little bigger, I don't know, you can actually add to this font tag. So if you just have that, you can add size to it. Maybe put like plus three. There we go. Okay, so from here, um, when you're adding videos in or you have like a gallery you want to make sure that you don't upload your videos and stuff to your directory you want to you want to upload it to another like server to like maybe like YouTube or another site that allows you to up or like upload things to their server for free of course um, and for, instead of using YouTube I actually use um, VP factory It's a great program to either embed or upload your, your videos with a way nice and more customizable cu customizable player. And it's really nice. I've actually already made a tutorial on this, but I'm just going to go quickly and show you how to do it. So I logged in, and you just have to make a new account. And here are all my videos in my collection. And you can add videos to your collection by clicking that, and you can either browse from your PC, or you can upload a or add a URL from YouTube or something. And what I was doing before was actually not too long ago was actually uh, uploading them to YouTube on a different account and then making them private and just putting the URL in and it works just as well so I thought that was that's actually pretty cool but you can upload they it's just like YouTube you can put as many site or videos as you want as I know of I don't know how many how many videos you can actually upgrade your account and you'll be able to like track your views which is pretty cool but I mean there's no point of that um, you can also use, also use like JW player but that's again you have to actually have your videos up on your server or YouTube, and I found pro I ran into problems with that, so I'm just going to use this. It works really well, and I like it. So um, when you're ready to create the player, you're going to go down to the let Let's Create the Player button, and if you want to create a new skin, you can go there, and I'll show you where show you where that will come in handy later. And I'll just call this. Oh, you don't actually need to name it, but and no, you do need to name it, but I'll skip that. And I'm going to choose a new skin. Um, I actually made a few skins right here, but you can also they also have pre-made skins for you. To create a skin, you can go back and find like I want to create oh, here we go. I want to create a new skin and you can put that in right there. Um and we're going to go to browse and check the ones that you want. You can also make a playlist and have certain videos uploaded. Um and you can just skim through them, which is pretty pretty useful. Um and I'm pretty sure if you go to like I want to create a new skin. There's like other there's other things like you can make like colors and settings and have like certain amount of things in it and you can create the size and stuff the size that you want and it's really 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 useful um, especially if let's say I wanted the size to be around like a thousand I'll put like a thousand twenty one or like one thousand I'll do that and the height around five hundred everything that I use from this player will be transfer it over to Dreamweaver and it'll be in my code which is really really useful so make sure you you go over that and I'm gonna have this one video set and hit publish it's gonna ask me to put a new name in and I'll just put uh, tutorial hit ok and I'll say player saved and upload this it'll come up with this code you can put in Make sure you set um, alternative object on and copy the code. And go back into Dreamweaver, go into the code tab, control V, and you're good to go. And just drag it out to your leisure. And you still have space to put a description. So I'll put 
description. No, actually, instead of doing that, I'll put an HR tag, which basically is a horizontal line. And I'll just put bracket HR. And backspace that. Okay. So now I have description right here. And this is a description. There we go. And now if we preview that in Firefox, our video will appear. Oh, crap. This is a little too wide, so I'm going to actually make that a little smaller. There we go. There we go. So if you actually, if you make the video too big, it'll uh, expand and deform your website. So make sure that you don't make the... the the player too big. As you see, this is really nice quality. You can basically upload your whole, like, <laughs> all of your YouTube videos to this. It's really nice, and so you have full squ full screen quality. And the reason why I wanted to do this in this program instead of YouTube is because I wanted, I wanted to be different from uh, from YouTube than my website. I want my website to be a better, like, a uh, have more advantages than YouTube. And I don't know, just something that's my opinion. So we're done with the video tab, and it's, there's another option for the video tabs. If you want to have like one videos page with all your links, this is what I would actually do on my website. If I basically have all my links, and if you click on one, it will bring it to a separate video page for that one video, which is really cool. But it doesn't matter; you can have all of them on one page. It really is; it's fine. Make sure if you do that, you don't have auto play, auto play, because then they'll all play at once, and it'll, it'll take up a lot of space, and it'll be really annoying. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Okay, so. Our next step is adding the about page, which is the last page. So I'm just going to go to file, save as, and type in about. Okay, and delete this. And I'll call this about. Actually, there's a trick. If you if you just select everything and retry type it, it'll ruin the font tag and re actually remove the font tag. So if you just delete everything but one. And you type in your text. You can delete this later, like that, and it'll save it. So it's a really cool trick. And I'll delete the uh, HR tag as well. If you just select it and delete it, delete that as well. And I'm just gonna snag the uh, <laughs> my bio off my website. <laughs> it's really, really cheap. But I don't want to make another one for you guys. I'm sorry. Um, Paste that in. Okay. And you can change the font later. I'm actually going to unset it just because it doesn't look nice. There we go. And we are done. We have created the about page, the, the videos page, the home page. And you want to make sure that your pages link back to your other pages. So index dot. Actually, no. I'll just. You can, uh, if you don't want to put in the link here, you can actually just right click on the, the image and hit make link and put it in the page. And we're already on the videos page. That's okay, that's okay. We'll change this to about. And that's good. We can get rid of this. And we'll put them in the same. Actually, no. Okay. Um, and there we go. So we are done editing our website. Now, you're not really done in the sense that you always are going to be basically uploading or making new things for your website. You're always going to be updating it, you know, making new things for it. And it's never done. And this is a quote from the social network. If you... It, it's just like st like clothes. The style always changes. It's never the same. So you're never really done with your website, especially if you're you know you're really into it and stuff. So keep on working at it, and there's going to be updates for it. Now, we are basically done with editing it in Dreamweaver. Our next step is to upload it to a host so everyone can see your beautiful website. So stay tuned for the next part and. 
Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.